Doctor, I would assume that you see patients who have tried traditional therapies and yes. they have not worked. How much more of a challenge is that assuming their immune system, their body has broken down a little bit from those treatments? How much of a challenge is that to get patients like that that, that are sicker than, than they normally would be? Yeah, imagine, Scott, the, the challenge that we do have mm -hmm. for the reasons you just mentioned, right? I mean, we see patients not when they're recently diagnosed or in right. stage one, two, or three. Typically, we see them when they've tried everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, there were some studies done in Russia where someone that has had chemotherapy, they're at least six months behind in immune function, right? Mm -hmm. And then you look at the emotional component of not having hair, for example, mm -hmm. or feeling weak or vomiting or diarrhea, you know, as a consequence of the chemo. Uh, so it's quite a challenge. And, and my prayer and my hope every day is to see patients earlier, right, mm -hmm. where we can really make a big impact in, in a body that's not so suppressed and toxic and, and a, a, a spirit and a soul that's not so down and depressed. So. It's, it's a big challenge, but you know that's what we do, and, and we have a great staff and a loving, caring staff that will go the extra mile, as they say, to, mm. to comfort and love and care for the patient. So, and that's what it's all about, because uh, you know a lot of patients that come to us, they really don't even have love in their life, and, uh, and so it's important to, to look at the whole individual, mm. and, uh, and, and hopefully they can learn enough that when they go home, uh, then they can do the right things, right? Oftentimes, um, uh, patients call us and they say, you know, I stopped the diet or I stopped this, and that's when I'm like, oh, why? Mm -hmm. And so uh, in the last year or so, we've uh, developed a very, very uh, precise aftercare program where we have the patients, prior to them being discharged, after a two, three weeks stay at our clinic, we give them in writing the day and the time that our aftercare consultant will call them. So they know when to mm. expect the call from us, and that's on a weekly basis or as needed. And of course, emails are always available. So mm -hmm. until we upgraded the aftercare program, uh, you know, it made such a difference because uh, now, more so than ever, we're there with the patient because we know that in two, three weeks, you could only achieve so much, sure. right? Uh, but the big work comes when they're back home where they have to cook for themselves, they mm -hmm. have to take their own uh, treatment and so forth. Right. So uh, it's, uh, it's a big part and we're really proud at Hope for Cancer for our aftercare program.